Adrenaline Synthesis As usual, like many neurotransmitters, the story begins with an amino acid. The hero of our story is Phenylalanine To make memorizing a phenylalanine structure easy. First, let us recognize the structure of amino acids. Amino acid has two groups attached to the same carbon, an amino group and carboxylic group. So, if the amino acid contains only one carbon, this gives us the structure of the first amino acid. Glycin. Let us hide hydrogens and carbons to simplify the structures. It is much like a less than sign with the two groups at the end. The higher amino acids are made by replacing one hydrogen with a carbon skeleton. So, if we replaced one hydrogen by a methyl group, we'll give alanine. Then, by adding a phenyl group, gives us phenylalanine, the hero of our story. And let we abbreviate it to P.A. The journey of synthesis of adrenaline from phenylalanine starts by two hydroxylation processes. First, phenylalanine is hydroxylated at para position to give tyrosine, which is another amino acid. Tyrosine is, then hydroxylated again but this time at meta position to give dopa, which is also an amino acid. For a moment, let us think, where the name, dopa, came from. Actually, it is a phenylalanine amino acid that was hydroxylated twice, in other words, it is a dihydroxyphenylalanine which can be abbreviated to D, O, P, A. Dopa. At this stage, we hydroxylated phenylalanine twice, and each time the result is an amino acid. In spite of that few amino acids can act as a neurotransmitter such as glycine and glutamate, the structure requirements to act as neurotransmitters are different. So, the structure of amino acids should be dramatically changed, and consequently, its physical chemical and biological properties will change. So, this is the time of decarboxylation process. The process at which the carboxylic group is thrown away. The decarboxylation process converts dopa to dopamine. It is no longer an amino acid because the acid group is gone. Now, it is an amine, a biogenic neurotransmitter amine. Chemically, it is a phenylethyl amine derivative. An additional hydroxylation process is done, but this time, on the side chain, on beta carbon which is the second carbon away from the nitrogen. This converts dopa to noradrenaline, which is also a neurotransmitter. Another moment to think about the name. What is the prefix, nor, means? Nor, is term included in the name of a molecule to indicate that the molecule has the same structure as its namesake but minus a group, most frequently a methyl group. This means that noradrenaline is a molecule that is missing a methyl group, and when it regained, the molecule name must be adrenaline. So, the final step will be amine group methylation to reach our final destination. Adrenaline neurotransmitter In a nutshell, the journey starts from phenylalanine. That is para hydroxylated to tyrosine, which is meta hydroxylated to dopa, which is then decarboxylated to dopamine. That is beta carbon hydroxylated to noradrenaline, to be methylated to adrenaline. 